Hey guys, what's up? So I was watching the MPL games and something what? caught my eye. Have you noticed that both teams experienced laners always buy roaming boots after the 8 minute mark? I mean, it's almost like clockwork. 8 minute hits and boom, roaming boots on both sides. No hesitation. I couldn't just sit back and wonder why. So I decided to play over 30 games to test it out for myself. And let me tell you, I found some pretty interesting stuff. Stick around to the end because I'm also debunking some myths around this strategy that you might have heard. So how does this work exactly? In pro games, these experienced laners buy roaming boots to unlock a second roaming skill. Typically, the actual roamer grabs conceal for those sneaky ganks while the experienced laner picks up encourage. Why encourage? Well, it boosts the attack stats and the attack speed of nearby teammates. That's a huge advantage, giving them just that little extra punch in team fights. But why after 8 minutes? Well, let me explain. Before 8 minutes, if you're farming minions near a teammate, you'll get hit with a penalty. You know, the one where you can't gain any gold or XP. But once the clock strikes 8 minutes, that penalty gets lifted. So the CXP pros wait until after that 8 minute mark to grab their roaming boots to avoid missing out on resources in case their teammates visit their lane. Now let's talk about unlocking that roaming skill. Normally, roamers need 600 roamer gold to unlock their skill. They get it automatically every 4 seconds because they usually have the lowest gold in the team. Once it hits 600, boom, the skill is unlocked. But as an experienced laner, you probably have more gold than your roamer. So how do you unlock it? Simple. Assists. Here's where it gets interesting. The more assists you rack up, the faster you'll gain roamer gold and unlock the skill. Here's an example where I'm using a second roaming boots as an experienced laner. As you can see, I'm not gaining any roamer gold. But as soon as I get an assist, the roamer gold also increased. So the more assists you have, the faster you can unlock the skill. But heads up, kills won't give you roamer gold, only assists. See, no changes. I got the kill and my roamer gold stayed the same. So even if you're not the lowest in your team, you can still increase your roamer gold with assists. And that's basically the gist of this feature. As an experienced laner, you buy the roaming boots after the 8 minute mark and then collect assists to unlock the skill. Now let's jump into some of the burning questions I know you guys have. Question 1. Will buying roaming boots delay my roamer in unlocking their skill? No, you can buy roaming boots without affecting your roamer. The only time you'll mess them up is if you're playing badly and become the lowest on the team. In that case, you'll be stealing their bonus gold and XP. So clear those lanes, avoid dying, and let your roamer do their thing. Question 2. How long does it take to unlock the skill? Well, it depends on your game and how often you can get assists. Remember, the rumor gold only starts piling up after the 8 minute mark. In my 30 game test, I only managed to unlock it a couple of times before the game ended. It's not easy, but when it happens, it will give your team the advantage. Question 3 How much does it cost to buy your roaming boots? The cost of your roaming boots is actually free when you already have your existing boots. As you can see, it did not cost me any gold to upgrade. Question 4. Will I get extra experience and gold from assists after 8 minutes? Now, this is a common misconception among players. If we look at the description, there you'll say you only get extra resources from assists on the first 8 minutes of the game. That means you will not receive any bonus rewards after the 8 minute mark. After 8 minutes, the only thing you're working toward is unlocking the roaming skill. Question 4. Can I intentionally stop farming to unlock my skill? Well, you can do that to place you in the lowest rank. However, I don't think the roaming skill is worth the delayed farming. You're better off continuing your normal gameplay and hoping the assists come naturally. Before you go ahead and try this strategy in your ranked games, there are a few things to keep in mind. First up, this strategy is not limited to EXP laners. Here's an example of a pro player buying a dire hit roaming boots on a Luo Yi. And here's another one on a gold laner. Looking at their team's gold, we can see that Nathan is leading, but still he decides to get dire hit because he knows he can unlock the skill with assists. Next one is the assist issue. On some cases, getting an assist will not give you roamer gold. Here's an example. This is my starting roamer gold. And right here is a clear assist, right? However, my roamer gold did not add up. And this incident happened many times in several games. Here's one. On some games though, it does add up with no issues. I tested it on a custom match and both roamer users can gain gold on a shared assist. 
On the flip side, I've also had games where I gained Roamer Gold even though I wasn't the lowest in resources. Look at this, I'm not even last but my Roamer Gold is still increasing. Weird, right? It's not really a bad thing but it's definitely buggy. So is this strategy worth trying? I'd say yes but don't expect it to work every time. Think of it as a bonus. If you manage to unlock the skill, Great! If not, no harm done since the roaming boots are free. So the next time you're in a game, try buying roaming boots after the 8 minute mark and see if you can give your team that stat advantage. Just remember, whatever you do, don't buy them at the start of the game. So have you tried this strategy yourself? How did it go? Let me know in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.